Tesla might be known for their overall aggressiveness, but they never cease to surprise people still. It all comes down to their recent ambition to make the Model Y the best-selling car in 2023. That's a lofty goal when you consider the fact that Toyota currently holds that title with the Toyota Corolla. They sell 1.5 million units of those vehicles. So how does Tesla plan to dominate a space already occupied by one of the most successful legacy companies in the world? Consider this. When the Model Y was first released, it accounted for only about a third of all their production. However, there's been quarterly growth from the company that many can say is unprecedented. Ford. At the moment, Tesla claims that Giga Berlin will produce a car every 45 seconds. Now, even though that might not sound like the speed of bullets coming out of a machine gun, it's still incredibly fast. When you stack up the numbers, that's almost 80,000 vehicles per year from that factory alone, assuming there's no rest period for the machines. At the moment, Tesla has stacked a majority of its attention on both Giga Texas and Giga Berlin. Berlin will be the first Gigafactory to take responsibility for that production, and in line with Tesla's ambition, a proposed 1 million battery cells are expected to be produced daily. And as the volume of their auto production increases, so will the batteries themselves. Here noted that Giga Berlin was stated to have a production capacity of 500,000 vehicles. However, when you take into consideration that 8 gigapresses are the goal of completion for Berlin, then it seems that Tesla might just be taking a conservative stance as regards to their projected output. Each gigapress has a cycle time of 80 to 90 seconds, which allows it an output rate of 40 to 45 castings per hour, which means that there will be about a thousand castings per day for each gigapress. Let's assume only three of those gigapresses are devoted to the Model Y, and let's factor in a generous 20% downtime for each gigapress. The Tesla factory will still be on track to produce way more than the 500,000 vehicles that they've stated earlier. In actuality, Giga Berlin's Phase 1 deliveries might see well beyond 1 million vehicles. In fact, rumor has it that the estimated output is actually 2 million vehicles per annum. At that kind of production rate, Tesla would be controlling 16% of the EV market share in Europe alone. I know we've been speaking extensively about the Model Y, but do not make the mistake of thinking the model will be the only one in their production chain. Only three out of the eight gigapresses have been installed in Giga Berlin. With those three gigapresses, 21,000 castings can be produced per week, which translates to 10,000 cars per week. Elon Musk has accurately predicted these numbers some years prior. The production speed and sheer volume capacity at Giga Berlin is already causing a ripple effect in Germany and legacy companies. Already, we know that Tesla is faster, cheaper, and more productive than others, and they've built their factories in such a way that there's room for optimization for the factories. A company that expects a growth percentage of 200% in its first year or second is considered well within the achievable realms of ambition.